this is going to be a very simple sunset. Here we have my canvas paper taped to my board. I did cut it a little bigger than a 5 by 7 so I have room to tape it so that when I move my board around it will be a lot easier. So again this is going to be a 5 by 7. And it is, it is canvas paper. It's easier to move around, flip it. It'll be easier on my wrist. Remember, canvas paper, you can use any material you have. We're going to start with the sky, picking up some white and blue. And we're going to move a little fast because we do not want these acrylics to dry on us because then it'll be a little more difficult to blend. So pick up white. Don't mix it into one solid color, not white solid or blue. You want to keep both colors in there like a marble effect because you want to have, uh, you want to make it look like you have some white clouds in there. Now I picked up some white and pink. Actually it was white and red and it turned to pink. And because it's mixing in with my blue, it turns into a violet color. And that's what you want. You want blues, you want pinks, and you want violets in your sky. So go ahead and move it around here and there. Bounce around the colors. You don't want to keep one certain color in one area. You want a top, bottom, side, left, right. Now I'm picking up some yellow. Of course, make sure you wash your brush before you pick up that yellow because you don't want it to turn green. Now I picked up some more yellow with red, which turns into orange. Being careful not to go into that blue sky, because if it's still wet, it's gonna turn to green, and we don't want that. Now I picked up some more red, giving it that fire look in the sky. Again, you gotta be bouncing around, pick up some yellow, and Finish painting the bottom of your painting in yellow. Pick up some red. Beautiful red turns to orange. And that's the colors you want. So you want red, orange, pinks, violets. Picked up some white. Just to lighten up some areas. You do the same. You pick up some white. Put it on the canvas. Wherever you think you went too dark, you just go ahead and pick up white and lighten it up. But again, you got to move pretty fast because if you have experience with acrylics, they do dry really quick. So let's jump around and move around, lighten it up some sky. It looks like clouds. I just added a little more yellow here and there. Yellow is my favorite color. My grandbaby will tell you that. She knows. Here we go. Jump around. And guess what? We're almost done with this. Very simple. Very simple painting. You'll love it. Just make sure that you practice. Now we picked up some black. You didn't have to wash your brush. And we're going to do some far away trees. Jump around here and there. Twist and turn your brush. This is silhouettes of trees in the distance. Now we created one on the left and one on the right, making it like a curtain. Because when you create curtains in your painting, you're keeping the viewer's eye in your painting. They're not going to the left or the right. They're going to stay centered. Here's a sample of what I've done in the past. And I'll have more at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned to the very end and you will get a few samples of my sunsets and sunrises. You go ahead and practice, make two or three or four. Have fun because each one is going to be totally different. You make yourself proud and you make myself proud. Here's a color wheel that will help you pick colors for your sunsets, sunrises. We're going to consider this a finished painting. Very simple, but very beautiful. I'm very happy with what we accomplished here today. 
we're going to get some frames so you have an idea of what it looks like. And you're going to be picking the best parts of your painting. Because when you paint, you might find that some corners are prettier than others. So you take your 5x7 frame, you move it around, and you're going to cut to the very favorite parts that you like of your painting or you can even do a four by six depending on the size of the canvas or canvas paper you have you can always cut it to any size you like but don't put it behind glass because it is an original you can add a mat to it but don't put glass I like the five by seven, so I think I'm gonna keep the five by seven. Guys, I'll see you on our next adventure. God bless you. Adios, amigos.